So, guys, uh, confession time. It's a hard video for me to make because, you know, I don't want to um, push anybody away or anything like that. But I want to be honest about my alcohol, alcohol and me, the relationship that I've had over the years. Now, there's been a lot of really good times. I, there's no denying I've had great fun traveling around some places, being at home with good friends and having new odd beer too, and it's been great. But for the majority of times, when I drink alcohol or have alcohol consumption, I hurt the people that are closest to me, my friends, my family, and my girlfriend, and people that, I, you know, that I'm supposed to say that I love. These are the people that get affected by it. And um, I'm holding my head up, hands up, and I'm saying, look, I'm sorry for all of that. There's people that I've um, that have done everything for me. They've taken me into their their home. They've looked after me. They've they've done a lot for me. Now, this is over a span of years. You know, this this isn't just like recently. This is like all across the board. It's continually tripping up, and that's why I don't drink as much these days. Um, I'm actually sober just now. So yeah, I'm enjoying. I enjoy being sober, it's actually really good. Things work, things tick. Alcohol is a depressant, uh, for sure. So what exactly happens? So I start off very happy. I have one, I have two, I have three, I have four. Then I have five. And I call this the, the kind of the hyper phase where I'm completely cocky, completely um, confident. Sometimes it's a good confidence that people enjoy, but then it's very quickly can shift to the opposite way. Now, it's always the people that are closest to me that get the, the wrath of that because they notice me and they know me and they'll say, hey, stop, Daniel, calm it down. And I'll be like, no, you don't know me. I've got my limits. I'm unbeatable. I'm, and you feel, I feel immortal. And it's not true. You know, I'm not, I'm not by any means a lightweight. I can't just have a beer and get drunk, but I'm not a heavyweight. I don't just like... Maybe there's the odd story where I had 14 beers one place and I didn't. I was the one looking after people. That's true. That's I've had days like that, but um, there are days when I've just been an asshole, um, and I was I hold my hands up and say it's unacceptable. Um, and hopefully you can be honest as well. I think honesty is a great, great way to just get rid of anxieties that, you're, that are going through your mind. If you're struggling with your relationship. Um, because of alcohol or maybe it was just one incident one incident is enough and it's one incident that kills me you know people can forgive but they can't forget the words you said when you're drunk and if it's potent and it's cutting and it's hard for them to accept then you need to sort yourself out I hope that you guys can see this um, I'm not hiding anything it's it is what it is and all I'm going to say is my main advice is that people don't just stick around forever. If you keep making these these mistakes, you think that people are going to be like, oh, and feel sorry for you. Not true. And I've learned that the hard way. Um, and sometimes, you know, you might not get these people back. You might not get the, the people back into your life that you love. Maybe, um, maybe that's your punishment. Maybe you have to live with that. But you have to live nonetheless. You have to move forward and accept it you can't just wallow in it you have to make action to get over these things and prove even if the person doesn't take you back as a friend or even if your family even disown you you still have to show for yourself that you can change and you can become a better person and that's what i want to do thank you guys make sure to subscribe i know it's a little bit depressing but it has to be said i love you